When shall these things be? What shall be the sign of thy coming, and of the end of the world? Or the destruction of the wicked, which is the end of the world? Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars, and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. Nearly 2,000 years ago on the Mount of Olives, the Savior had this discussion with his disciples concerning the last days, our day. Have you ever been concerned about these prophecies? About the wars and natural disasters to precede his second coming? you're not alone the Lord's disciples were deeply concerned when they first heard of these things from him and now when I the Lord had spoken these words unto my disciples they were troubled and I said unto them be not troubled for when all these things shall come to pass ye may know that the promises which have been made unto you shall be fulfilled The righteous should not be troubled by the signs of the second coming because although distressful, these signs are a message from the Lord to his righteous saints that the promises he has made to them will be fulfilled. These signs also serve a second purpose. They are a signal to the righteous that the hour of the Savior's coming is close at hand. In the Doctrine and Covenants, section 45, verses 36 and 37, the Lord says, and when the light shall begin to break forth, it shall be with them like unto a parable, which I will show you. Ye look, and behold the fig trees, and ye see them with your eyes, and ye say, when they begin to shoot forth, and their leaves are yet tender, that summer is now nigh at hand. Of all the trees in the Holy Land, it's significant that the Savior used the fig tree to make this illustration. The fig tree is the last tree to bear leaves before the arrival of summer. More than any other tree, it serves as an excellent indicator of the approach of the summer season. The Lord continues. Even so shall it be in that day, when they shall see all these things, then shall they know that the hour is nigh. And it shall come to pass that he that feareth me shall be looking forth for the great day of the Lord to come, even for the signs of the coming of the Son of Man. Some worry that the events preceding the second coming show a world out of control. But quite to the contrary, these signs testify that God is in control. The second coming is a time of hope and joy and reward for the righteous. The signs that precede it are sent by a loving Father in heaven to teach us and prepare us and help motivate us to become worthy for that great event. President Joseph Fielding Smith has said, We are living in the last days, and the predictions of the Lord and the prophets concerning the calamities, wars, and tribulations which were to precede his coming are now at hand. The fig tree has put forth its leaves. The summer is here. And all who love the Lord are looking forth to that great day when he shall come in the clouds of heaven to take his rightful place on earth as King of Kings.